welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Keyhole Puzzle. Which means I'm going to give you the quickest routine of going forwards and backwards along those silver and gold pieces until they separate. And then how you can do the reverse in the most efficient way to get back to that original keyhole position. Now the keyhole puzzle is a level 4 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale and a level 8 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you don't already have the keyhole puzzle for yourself then you can pick it up from our website puzzlemaster.ca and without further ado let's get on with that solution. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled keyhole puzzle made up of a silver piece and a gold piece. Now on each of those pieces there are engravings. So on the silver piece we have a keyhole engraving here and on the gold piece we have a Hanayama engraving here. Now for the actual solution I'm going to be switching our focus between this silver piece and this gold piece but whenever we switch the focus we're always going to have the, the side that has the engraving on facing up towards the camera or up towards us. So with that in mind we're going to start end on end in this original starting position and what we're going to do is we're going to push the gold piece as pretty much as far as we go through the silver piece as far as we can go but not too far we don't need to force it at all and then from here we're going to drop it down at about a 45 degree angle until we turn around that corner and into this position here once we're in this position, we're going to switch our focus to the gold side. Again, we have the Hanayama engraving facing up towards us. And the silver piece isn't changing height. We're keeping it in the same position it was when we turned. And all we're doing is coming over and into this position in the gold piece here. And once we're here, we're then going to switch our focus back to the keyhole side, the silver piece. Then we're going to come all the way around the corner on the silver piece. And as far as we can, all the way to the bottom until we end up here. But we don't want to lose the height that we had in here. Then we switch our focus back to the gold piece. And this is the only, the only sort of set of moves where we have to specifically hold the silver piece in place so it doesn't drop down. And without it dropping down at all, we're going to turn around the gold piece corner and we're going to head all the way to the end in here. Once we're in this position, we're going to switch back our, well, our switch our focus back to the silver side, and we're going to do pretty much the same move. We're going to go all the way around to the other side, just like that. Once we're in this position, we're going to switch back to the gold side, and for the final move, we're going to take it all the way around, and eventually slide it off the end and separate the keyhole puzzle just like that. And to put the keyhole puzzle back together we need to reverse all of those moves and we're going to do it in exactly the same way so we're always going to be focused on one part the silver piece or the gold piece and whichever piece we're focused on we're always going to have either the keyhole engraving or the Hanayama engraving facing up towards us so that it's easier for you to follow along to. So our first focus is going to be on the Hanayama side on the gold piece and we're going to connect the keyhole piece so we're, first of all we're turning it down and we're also the keyhole engraving is going to be facing the gold piece so we're in this position and we connect and then from here we go all the way around the gold piece until we're back in this position here. Then we're gonna flip over so we're focusing on the silver piece and we're gonna come all the way around the silver piece with the gold piece. Once we've done that, we're flipping back to the gold piece and once we're in this position, because the silver piece is mostly above the gold piece, we do have to hold it in place for this one and we're mostly doing the same thing. We're coming around the gold piece, but not the whole way. We're going to go as far as we can go into this position in here. Once we're in this position, we flip back to the silver piece. And here we come around the silver piece again, but just to here. 
and yeah, if it, it probably will happen anyway. Once you're in this position, you can then let it drop all the way down into its original position, or almost original position, so it will look something like this. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up at about a 45 degree angle. We can then turn around that corner, we pull them straight, and we have a fully reassembled keyhole puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the Hanayama keyhole puzzle. Hopefully the way of doing it where we are flipping from the gold piece to the silver piece quite frequently but hopefully using the engravings being upright the whole time makes it a little bit easier for you to follow along to or as easy as it can be to follow along to. And hopefully it helps you solve the keyhole puzzle for yourself. And if you want to pick up more puzzles just like the keyhole puzzle then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. And until next time, I'll see you later.